So let's speed this up. Poof. So we're finally at the third part of this series. And if you guys haven't seen the first and second part, I recommend you guys checking those out before you watch this third part, which is going to be short. And it's just kind of about putting up the lines and electrics and stuff like that. So let's get it going. All right, now the tank stand is in place. I was gonna put some a rack of 40s on that back wall. I think I'm gonna just push this over now and not try to cram it in here too much because I do still have guests come over every now and then and sleep in here. But I have these cam screws, I'm doing electrics now. I use these pointed cam screws. Well, this one's not even pointed, that's the wrong one. That one's pointed, so what I've done is stuck it in the back of these hook parts for the power trip here. And I've got one on a timer, which that'll be my lights, and then this one will be my pump. Essentially, since it's already locked in there, and these are going to need to go upside down with the cord, is I can just push it on there and get my marks from that, and then screw them in and pop them in, slide them in. That'll give me my outlets. And once I have that going, I can start moving the tanks in here. And here's a little hack for you guys. Is I screwed these screws right here. See, what happens is when these go on, they're being pushed down all the way to lock in. So if they were pulled up, there's a chance where they can slip off over time or something. So I put these at points of pressure where it just locks us in. Like the only way to take this off would be to take these screws out. And the good thing about this not being on the end, if it did ever flood down here, then it's not, it's very less likely to get into the power strip. So there's kind of a gap there and that's solid. But yeah, there's a little hack for you. I gotta plug that one in. So that's done and now I can start putting tanks in, do lights and do air strips. Tanks are in it. You can barely see them, but they're in there. Let's get some lights on this situation. Well, I guess I only got one light for this, so I had to order some more. Because the other ones I have are just too short, especially since I made it too long. And you can see not a whole lot of light gets on the side. If I do put it up, hold it up like this, it does get a lot more light in it. So, since I can't do that yet, I'm going to start working on these air lines, and I essentially just throw a screw in there and hang a gang valve on here. Since I don't have a linear pump, I'm using Tetra Whispers. And now, uh, the next step will be to run the lines to all these tanks, and then I'll put hooks up here for all the lines to hold up onto so they'll stay straight up. <laughs> tank one to just kind of keep it tight where they hook up lights are put up so now I can start throwing this eco complete in here how I ended up putting the lights in here keep this nice and open easy to get into I took some metal banding and just screwed it up to the wood there and held the LEDs up that way which this metal banding it's really uh, really cheap like a buck for a whole roll. Oh, here it is. Comes in a roll like this. I just cut the pieces out and fabricated and kind of molded them onto the light fixture first before putting it on there just to make my life easier. Then I got them all plugged in. They go down here. I did put these screws in here because I got these packs. I didn't want these packs to just be hanging down on the bottom here and have a chance of getting wet. So I put a couple screws here just to hold them up. I just wrapped them around a little bit. And yeah, it's all on a timer, all set and ready to go. Out of this Eco Complete, probably gonna need more than that, but it'll be a start and start putting water in it. I'm excited. Got some substrate in a few of them and 
as many of you know, I use Eco Complete, and it's taken two bags for the 20 longs to get to the depth that I'm wanting. But definitely gonna have to order some. I only got about half of what I needed. So I'll get some ordered, but I'll go ahead and fill these up because I can go ahead and get them started. No sense in waiting on that. And a big reason why I didn't go ahead and smooth this out is I could use the water to help kind of level it out for me. It'd save me a little work. All right, I got some Eco Complete in. And now I can finally finish off this stand here and get the water in it get the substrate in get the water in bury all them air or sponge filters and then hook up my air pumps and i still gotta drill out a bunch of these lids to deflect the air bubbles and whatnot and then add some plants some rocks and eventually the livestock so there's so many processes going into a rack system like this but yeah well, I hope you guys enjoyed that so that does it for this uh, 20 by 20 rack and I know I kind of ended it abruptly with the uh, eco complete which main reason why is you guys can put whatever you guys want in it I'm not really gonna suggest that you use dirt or laterite or eco complete over something else because different things require different things and you can even bare bottom it same with what you put in there as far as shrimp fish or plants so till next time peace everybody